Hi, this is John again, the owner and developer of Vectordex. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss the Sundex settings button deck edges. And when you're constructing or designing a deck, you're going to have certain surfaces that will butt up against the house, for example. This will be up against the house. And if you select things like a border or the, you know, the actual fascia trim, or even a lattice, let me put a lattice on this deck and show you. It's going to draw all the lattice, all the trim, and even the border in areas that really don't need it. There's no need to have that fascia here, or, you know, or, or the lattice. So I created a way that you could change that from getting drawn here on your drawing. Uh, let's go ahead and select that deck frame again and click on the Sun Deck settings and you'll see an option for deck edges. We'll go ahead and click on that and it changes the window and it's going to show you sort of an outside profile of your actual deck area and you'll see letters and numbers. You know, if you had a B here, in fact let's go back and add that. A B is for border. So you know I'm still in the Sun Deck settings window and so I'm, I can pop around here. Yeah it will. And in that deck edges now you'll see the B, F for fascia, and L for lattice. A little image here will show you, that way you, you'll have an understanding of what it is. And I also added a little option here for the font size. What I found when I was designing very small decks, the default font would be way too large. And on some very, very large decks, the font size would be so tiny it was hard to see. So you'll have this capability of changing it so you see the numbers more clear. Now we know that this deck edge doesn't have any need for fascia or border or lattice because it's up against the house. So we're going to go to its corresponding numbers, which is the number 8, and turn those off. You know, it'll tell you they're off. We'll click OK. And when this re-renders, you'll see it won't draw any of those components. I'll zoom in here and show you. The border stops here, and there's no border up against the house. There's no fascia. And the lattice itself stops at this particular point. Now, this may not be critical because it's not seen. Let me get back to a, you know, the right isometric view. And you'll see it's up against the house anyway. And, and you'll say, well, you know, I'm not concerned with that. But in some future upgrades to the Vectordex plugins, is to have a real powerful material list. And obviously, in the back, you won't need all those different materials. A thing to note that if you have a set of steps in your drawing, its edges are not going to appear in that deck edges window. I'll go back here and show you. See the steps themselves don't even appear. These controls are primarily for the frame edge edges only. You're still going to have control over those edges, but those controls will be in your vector deck steps settings. That's pretty much it with respect to deck edges. In the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and cover the next available option, which are the beams.